Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. I am in the Dollar Tree. I'm finding some amazing things. You know what that means. Let's go shopping. So I haven't been in the Dollar Tree since Christmas. I hope your New Year's is off to a great start. Today we are looking at all things Dollar Tree. They have some great things out for Valentine's Day, Easter, St. Patty's Day, and spring. There is so much in the store to share with you guys. So let's get right into the Valentine's items. They definitely have upped their game and I'm finding some really cute things. I love this little envelope. It's the only one in my store, so they must have already had them out for a while. Tons of signs. I think this is more signs than I have ever seen for any holiday in Dollar Tree. Now I know they've upped their prices to $1.25 and that is making me second guess all my purchases in here, but I will tell you there are some things that you definitely want to know, know about for your spring Valentine's, Easter, and St. Patty's Day decor. They have some really cute signs right now, like I mentioned. These in the black and white are among my favorite. I also love that they did these longer versions. They've got welcome, kissing booth, so cute. Pucker up buttercup, I love that. Home sweet home in the pink and red. And then of course they had to throw in a red truck. These are things you could pick up for much more at places like Target or Walmart or Hobby Lobby. So $1.25 does not seem so bad. How do you feel about the price raise? Let me know in the comments below. I love this one in Hug Me on the black and white. Here are some more, some red be mine and pink be mine. I also love black and white. I know it's not for everybody. They also have out a tag style or two. I think I found another one on another wall. I'm loving these rounds. They have it in love and love you always. They also have a ton of the longer vertical signs to choose from, from hugs and kisses to I like you a lot. Love on the red and be my Valentine on the pink. Now these have definitely caught my eye. They are so nice. So they're kissing booth signs. They are a heavy MDF and they all have a reverse side. So they all charge 25 cents for a kiss or for free on this pink one. The other two just go out of business and close down. I also found these vertical burlap wall hangings in the two versions, hugs and kisses and love you more. I think those are so cute. This is another great find. So they are tag signs in a two pack. They come in pink, but they also come in red and the black and white check. Now they were far out of my reach. I am a little vertically challenged. I also found this adorable hugs and kisses delivery truck for Valentine's Day and these lightweight love bugs in metal that are just adorable. They also have this pair of hanging metal lips. These are so cool. You could definitely DIY them. Now I found a large pair and a smaller pair and then in the crafting section, I found a Valentine envelope and a Valentine cupcake, so keep your eye open for those. They also have some cute signs in a trailer, lots of hearts to show you guys. Now there are a few that are definitely upscale, I think for Dollar Tree like these. They have like a wood finish, some felted hearts, and then of course lots of glitter over here. They also have two rainbow signs out, one in pinks and then one in red. I also found this one in Follow Your Heart. And if you think this is a lot of wall hanging signs, wait till you see the tabletop ones they put out. They are fabulous. And I'm even more blown away by the tiered tray that I'm gonna show you guys that they've put out for Easter. Now my Dollar Tree is a Dollar Tree Plus, so there are gonna be some items for Easter. I'll show you guys that are $5. Everything here for Valentine's Day that I have showed you is $1.25. Now let's switch gears to the tabletop signs. They have a panda, a really cute little scooter, an adorable trailer, and a llama. So these are all tabletop decor, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. They have so many signs out. So I think these are adorable. They do have a few to choose from in different types and these that are just precious. So they've got the unicorn, the hugs and kisses heart, a cupcake, which is right up my alley, and a donut. They also have a few different sayings that are framed, and these do have tooth hangers on the back. They also have an adorable tabletop love meter, something that we saw at Target years ago, so it's nice to see it for $1.25. They also have these that also have the teeth hangers and they're framed out in the wood. 
found this and I think it might be feeling a little backwards. Hopefully that's not a sign of what 2022 is going to have in store for us. They also have the long narrow signs and I found a yardstick, just one, but it is so cute. Now there are some crafting things I really wanna share with you guys. They have lots of DIY project items. They have some adorable stickers in their DIY section and these I have to mention. They are scratch stickers where you can write your own Valentine message. They also have some beautiful heart stones in cement with different sayings and designs that you can DIY paint the wood planked heart and these little envelopes that are so cute. So they come in the truck, this one in love, and they also have it in a gnome, so cute for $1.25. They also have these that remind me of way back in the day when you would get these, they're plaster items that you can DIY paint. So they have the little mail truck and the mail box for Valentine's Day and these wooden sticks, which I did bring home with a project in mind. Over here, they have some cake toppers that are great. I also think these little containers are really cute. Great little gifting containers. They also have the burlap sacks in the hearts in red and pink and some baking items. So they're upping their game. They have these little silicone cupcake holders in the hearts and more baking things to come, but they have these acrylic fluted glasses a better look at that love meter and then some fun acrylic glassware with different valentine sayings on them now up by the registers i found these hanging spatula and cookie cutout combos and they also have a heart-shaped muffin pan they also have some adorable heart pedestals for cupcakes those remind me of target dollar spot they also have tons of tins this time of year and i want to give you guys a quick look at them they also have the mailboxes out if you're interested. I always love to see the prints they put out. They have an adorable gnome. They have this one in Hey, You're Cute and Be Mine on the red. I love the designs that they chose this year. I think that they look really well designed. I love these tins. If you use them, I'd love to know what you pick them up for. Comment down below and let me know what you use Dollar Tree gifting tins for. They also have some plastic tubs for bigger gifts. And then I found these on an end cap, very cute little pairs of hearts. So there are three different to choose from. They've got this one in the white and purple combo and down here another pair in the red and black. I also really like these little box style gifting bags. I think that they are really cute. Now let's get into some gift items to fill up all these containers with. They do have the balloons in love. They have some books over here. I was really surprised by the amount of gifting items that they have out. Of course, the scarves. They've got trucks and gnomes and hearts and pets and sloths and more hearts and gingham. But if you're not into scarves, they also have lots of gifting items. They have some lip oil, these Valentine themed bath sponges. They also have some soaps and some makeup sponges to go along with them. These are all in the novelty section of my store. They also have some bath bombs and some really cute little drink containers in different colors and socks. Okay, so I'm just going to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of Dollar Tree socks, but they have these fuzzy socks this year and they are so nice. They have this one in the cupcake. And then these are actually not fuzzy, but they did do some really cute prints like the trucks. And I may have brought home a pair and they're the lip ones. They are fuzzy and so cute. Lots of different pet options to choose from. And I think that these have definitely gotten better price increase. Now I am curious for things like gift bags and little candy items. Are you now going to go to places like Walmart and Target instead of the Dollar Tree? I would love to hear from you. Now we're going to switch gears. I want to show you guys some of the $5 items because this is a Dollar Tree Plus. This is a DIY centerpiece you could make out of press board. They also have some wooden tray style decor that you could DIY for Valentine's Day, including this in the kissing booth tray. So adorable, but they are $5. And then they've got these light up LED pieces down here in lovebirds and gnomes. But now we are switching gears to Easter. I know it's early January, but I wanna show you guys what they're getting in. Now these are $5 a piece, but they are such a good size. I just cannot believe that they've got these here. Now these are so cute. These are the felted bunnies. 
two different positions. They are $3 a piece and they also have these for three. They're just sort of a little bobblehead bunny gnome. They also have some stuffed wall hangings and then a large wreath for $5. Up here they also have a grapevine style hanging basket with some florals and down below for $5 they have galvanized tin buckets full of floral. They also have a couple of signs for $3, this one in the white in hop, it also comes in yellow in blessed with those fun carrots and some bunnies. So these I think are a little odd looking if I'm being honest now, my son thinks they're cute, but they're $5, this one's a hairy bunny and then they've got this one with the bucket. $5 a piece, definitely resembles something we might see at Walmart. And now let's get into more Easter decor. A lot of these things remind me of things we'd find in Target dollar spot. So they do have the little banner. They have these hanging signs down below. They also have some floral. Now those are potted florals for $5. Some of them have the styrofoam eggs. They also have these vertical carrots that I think are really cute. Now I think these ones were actually $3. They're on a little stand and some really nice large wooden pieces. Remember, these are things you will find at a Dollar Tree Plus for a $3 price point. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, a tiered tray for $5 at the Dollar Tree. I cannot believe it. So it does come in the scalloped white version. Also found it in blue, no pink this time. They also have this really fun tray of press board carrots and bunnies for tic-tac-toe some more light up signs and a huge egg. I'm gonna show you here in a second. They have the planked bunnies, the planked eggs. You could DIY them or leave them plain. Now, honestly, these crafting items are as nice quality as you would find at places like Michael's or Joanne. And I don't think it's coming across on camera, but this egg is huge for $5. They also have a tray out for Easter. And now I'm gonna show you guys some of the organization at my Dollar Tree. So they are putting out some bins, it's January. We all wanna clean out our houses. So they do have some really nice heavyweight baskets. I might have to pick up some of these. They're $5, so a little bit more pricey, but a great organization tool. They also have some mini stools I wanted to share with you guys. And they're also putting out blankets for Easter, so it reminds me a bit of Walmart or Target. So they do have four different prints. They've got a striped version, they've got this really bright bunnies, the gnomes, and a floral. They're just small throws for $5. I also found these guys for five. These would be great birthday gifts. And Easter candy is all around me. They've got all kinds of flavored peeps. I'm not a peeps fan. I think they're cute to look at, but I don't love to eat them. But if you do, you may wanna check out Dollar Tree for all those flavors. Now we are switching gears again into the sweetest little fairy garden collection that I've ever seen. It is just precious. And you know, if we're looking at fairy garden miniatures, that that means they've put out their spring items and the spring fling has begun. So I will be sharing some spring items. I've also got some St. Patty's Day to share with you guys, so hang in there. These are some of the miniatures that go along with their fairy garden collection. They have some really detailed small pieces. I have to say they've upped their game. Really like those little floating gnomes up there that look like they're poolside. They have a whole beach themed set of the fairy garden miniatures along with the whole sweets theme. So down here they've got more of the gnomes relaxing and chilling with lots of nautical items like the little lighthouse, the little boat. They have the little changing room for the beach, a cute little bus, a really cute sand castle. I really like this seashell. And then of course, a little love bug with a surfboard on top. So keep your eye open if you do fairy gardens. Now I'm gonna show you guys some of the things they're putting out as part of their spring fling. Seeing lots of butterflies and hummingbirds. They do have some things for the garden down here, some different garden stakes in metal for 125. And this that I thought was really cool, it's a bell cloche for anything you might be starting to root and want to keep warm. They also have some hanging vertical plant hangers in the green and mustard. These tie backs in the frogs that are really cute. The pots are hitting the shelves. They also have some miniature gnomes and all the tools you'll need to get your garden in shape if you're not frozen in your neck of the woods. It's definitely been cool in mine. 
I do love when they put these out. I know everyone uses them in their DIYs. And speaking of spring, they have spring floral. I love this freesia in the white. I wanted to show you that. I think it is so pretty. They do have it in a few different colors. And you know how it is with Dollar Tree. If you snooze, you lose. I also love this. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like Bougainvillea. So I just want to give you guys sort of a preview of what is coming to the Dollar Tree for their spring floral. Now we're switching gears to St. Patty's Day. So they do have out these little clover bundles that are really cute. Of course, they always do the carnations. Now for some of their St. Patty's Day items, of course, they always have their novelty items. I love these little ties. And of course, the headgear, it's always really cute. They also have some decor items. Their clings are hitting the shelves. I really like that one with the little Irish dancer. And I always like these little pots. I think these would make great little DIYs for maybe cauldrons during Halloween. Their dish towels, hanging little felt leprechauns, lots of glittered clovers, and down here their derby hats. Over here they've got more signs, but I want to show you they have plenty of tinsel, large clovers. Down here they've got a welcome pot with the leprechaun's legs sticking out, a little happy St. Patty's Day sign along with some larger vertical options. They also have out their St. Patty's Day socks and these are very soft and cozy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick trip to the <coughs> $1.25 store. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon. Yeah.